decentralized applications that is d apps are digital applications or programs that run on a decentralized network rather than a single computer or server they are built on blockchain technology and uses cryptocurrency as a means of exchange hello everyone welcome to frame world educational hub i am ashwarya saxena and this is blockchain tutorial series i hope you have watched the previous videos of this series and I am trying my best to deliver you very important, useful and trendy content and information in this blockchain technology series. In this video, I am going to talk about decentralized applications, that is dApps. Decentralized applications or dApps are software programs that run on a blockchain or peer-to-peer, -peer, that is P2P network of computers instead of a single computer. dApps are often built on the Ethereum platform. They have been developed for a variety of purposes including gaming, finance and social media. The apps are free from the control and interference of a single authority. The benefits of the app include the safeguarding of user privacy, the lack of censorship and the flexibility of development. Let's understand more about the apps. An app such as Uber or Twitter runs on a computer system that is owned and operated by a company that have authority over the app and it's working no matter how many users there are the backend is controlled by the company d apps can run on a p2p network or a blockchain network for example bittorrent tor and popcorn time are applications that run on computers that are part of p2p network which allows multiple participants to consume content feed or seed content let's talk about some examples of d apps number 1 Financial services. The apps can be used to facilitate peer-to-peer -peer financial transactions such as the exchange of currencies or the transfer of assets. Number two, supply chain management. The apps can be used to track the movement of goods through a supply chain, ensuring transparency and accountability. Number three, identity management. The apps can be used to securely store and verify identity information such as for voter rolls or passport applications. Number four, real estates. The apps can be used to facilitate the buying and selling of real estate directly between buyer and seller, as well as the tracking of property ownership and related documentations such as the dates. Number five, healthcare. The apps can be used to store and track healthcare records, as well as to facilitate the communicator and collaboration of healthcare professionals. Number six, education. The apps can be used to create decentralized learning platforms, allowing students and teachers to interact and collaborate directly without the need for intermediaries. Number five, social media. The apps can be used to create decentralized social media platforms, allowing users to interact and share content without the need for a central authority. Number six, predictive markets. The apps can be used to create decentralized platforms for predictive markets allowing users to make predictions on a variety of topics and potentially earn rewards for accurate predictions. In the upcoming videos, I will also explain about the D-app scams. So if you are new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe and also press the notification bell for the latest uploads. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any queries, please drop it in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.